I'm afraid that everything's going to die. Hey friends, it's Jen at the Sunshine Farm. And today I want to share with you something that was a little bit disappointing, very disappointing, but I think it's important to share where I am failing and just talk about my fears because I think that when we acknowledge our fears and that when we bring them to light and when we talk about them, that we can really challenge them and we can let them go and release them. So I want to talk to you about that. Let's go out in the garden because a lot of my fears have to do with that this year. Because it's spring, I am going to be wearing sandals, and of course, I have mixed mat mix matched socks again. As always, I never put my socks away, so then when I need them, I can't find a matching pair. I actually just finished mulching a bunch of this area with wood chips that we just got delivered, so I'll be sharing that at some point, the progress of that, but not for today's video. So here we are in the garden, one of the beds. One of the beds where I planted most of my cabbage starts, my very healthy cabbage starts, and almost all of them are now dead. And it was really, really hard for me when I came out here and saw them struggling. It wasn't immediate, it took a, a week and a half or so for them to really, to really start to die. And once they started to die, it was pretty quick and there wasn't a lot of saving them. So the biggest thing I did wrong was I didn't plant deep enough below this layer of wood chips. So I brushed aside the wood chips and look how deep they are, guys. Go. Oh. Then under that, look, it looks like there's soils right there, right? But actually there's still a lot deeper I can go to make sure that that root system in the seedling really can send out its roots into the soil. So what happened was we got hit with some hard weather and the, the root systems in the plants didn't have a chance to send their roots out to the soil to develop a light, nice strong seedling. Almost all of them died. Now when I noticed they were, they were dying, um, I came out here and I did take them out from where they were and bury them deeper into the soil. I added in some of the rich potting mix that they had been originally planted in and I worked to save them. I have a feeling a lot of them won't bounce back. Honestly, I'll be impressed if we get any cabbage from these starts. And it was really discouraging because I put so much time, thought, hopes into these little seedlings, into ideas about making sauerkraut and making lots of yummy Asian style dishes with fresh cabbage. And now I might not have any at all. And that was pretty devastating for me, um, especially when I had done so much to learn all I could about preparing them for a healthy start to the garden. And I had hearted them off really well. But guys, it doesn't always go as planned. And the garden comes with a lot of disappointment, which brings me to my biggest fear that I want to talk to you about today. I'm afraid that everything's going to die. I'm afraid that nothing's going to survive. And I know part of that isn't realistic because this bed right here, this big 1,500 square foot garden bed was established last year. And so it should theoretically have a better start. And you can see some of these brassicas in here that I started, they're doing pretty well. But I think, you know, I spent the last six months dreaming and planning and hoping for this this season of life where I could finally get back out in the garden with all the knowledge I learned from last year, from my first year gardening. And in my mind, when I dreamt about the garden, when I dreamt about the things I was going to grow, in those dreams, there are no disappointments. In your dreams, you don't see the pest issues, you don't see the disease, you don't see seedlings not making it. You just see the dream, right? The hope, 
And what I'm learning is that that can be a hard reality when you realize that the reality is not going to live up to your expectation. I was thinking about it and thinking about my emotions and my fears and I was really, really anxious all day on Monday because I have all these transplants right over here, these seedlings that I've poured my heart into, these tomatoes and peppers and onions and artichokes and a couple more cabbage plants. And I'm afraid that they're all going to die. I'm afraid that nothing's going to work and that it's going to be a complete failure. And that's really scary. It's really scary and it's really hard because I care so deeply about this. I care so deeply about growing our own food, about growing things that I can't buy at the store and making tons of sauces and pickling peppers and making our own seasonings and all of these things that I'm so excited about and so hopeful for. And so to not know that it's going to work out and to feel like everything could die was a really hard thought for me to experience. And I just wanted to share it with you today because, you know, what if that was true? Like, what if everything died? Would I still be okay? Like, there's next year, right? There's lessons learned. Sometimes acknowledging that worst outcome and that that fear that I have helps me kind of better handle it more. And so I wanted to share that with you guys today because I want to be honest, I am really afraid of all of these things dying. I'm really scared. And this community has been such an encouragement to me. And I want to be an encouragement to you that it's okay. Like it's okay for me to feel this way. It just means I care so deeply about gardening, about food, about these plants. And I think that's a really good thing. It, it displays my love for this really well through my fear about it. So I may be scared that all my plants are gonna die, but that's okay. It shows my heart for the garden. I've shared my fear with you guys. I wanna hear about yours and I want to face them together and encourage each other. Comment below, let me know, what are you afraid of when it comes to the garden? Anywho, on a bright side, my garlic is thriving. I'm so excited about that. And my seedlings are doing really well, so that's a win. Here's to hoping and dreaming that not everything dies and I have a lot of wonderful harvest to share with you guys in the next few months.